Hi everyone. I hope that you are all doing awesome. So I am recording the Astra pension scheme again. So you know that in my last video with regard to Astra pension scheme, there was uh, lots of disturbances in my voice. It was not properly recorded. It was uh, lots of break was there in my voice. So that's why I am recording the the same lecture again. Okay. This is uh, in the morning 6:30. and this is the 2nd january today and yesterday was the 1st january i did not wish all of you as happy new year so my all of uh, all of my students who are watching me and who are not watching me too i wish you a very happy happy uh, successful new year uh, may god uh, give us all the success whatever you are uh, what uh, are trying to achieve and uh, make yourself proud and your family too have a nice day ahead too so uh, today we are going to discuss about the astra pension scheme so telangana current affairs i have put this particular scheme under the current affairs category itself because we have got some updation in it that's why presented by me sayya shujatullah so remember one thing i want to make this one clear to you astra pension scheme so remember or this word you have to properly memorize pension pension and insurance these two are considered as social security initiatives these two are considered as social security initiatives initiatives always remember social means society social means society in crude uh, explanation of social a congregation of people living together is called as social okay and uh, the one who generally meets each and every one we call it as uh, we call such persons as socializing persons right so whenever a term is there whenever you come across this term social always remember that they are talking about society okay so pension and insurance these two are considered as social security initiatives okay or you can say that social security related concepts in our initiatives concepts pension and insurance it they are having two both are social security as i have told you but a sharp difference is there between these two terms pension is generally given when a person is retired when a person has has no strength to work okay for those people pension is generally given when a, and the another one which is insurance it is given to those persons who are actually working who have strength to work but unfortunately in their during their course of their work if they met with any accident if they meet with any any of the accidents so as they have met with any accident they cannot go to the work right when they cannot go to the work how can they feed their family how can they feed their family because they don't have income source right they don't have the income source they are not going to the office they are not going to their daily wage uh, whatever the uh, labor work they are not going to there right in that case what they do, what they do need actually they need insurance insurance because it is given generally when you are in under working age okay so whatever the income you are having with that income you can properly fulfill your basic needs you can feed yourself you can you feed your family also and you don't have to spend any extra money from your pocket pocket means whatever the pocket we are having in shirt and pants so you don't have to uh, what to pull it out some of the money from your pocket and spend uh, on your expenditure of health right so what is happening is government is uh, trying to save these people like generally poor people are included in under the pension and insurance and uh, that's why government will try to save these poor people from any unforeseen situations by providing insurance by providing pension because they don't have to they don't have to worry if any unforeseen situation come into their life okay so government is trying to secure them socially government is trying to secure them socially nothing but in the society security of what government is trying to do security of that particular person should fulfill their basic needs basic needs such as food clothing and shelter and one more important aspect is pension or insurance whatever it is okay as of now whatever is given by the government of india or government of telangana they are not sufficient okay to fulfill all the basic needs 
but at least hunger can be taken away okay from these people it means through insurance through pension especially if i am we our topic is pension so i'll talk about that only so if government is giving a pension of 1000 or 1500 rupees to the poorest of poor people to the identified beneficiaries okay in that case in that case at least that particular sum of amount which is offering by the government helps them to fulfill their basic needs at least to buy the food grain per a month at least to buy food grains for a month so this is the whole actual concept when somebody is getting some financial assistance from the government uh, and if they are not able to go and work because they don't have a strength because pension is given after 59 years or so okay they cannot go out to work but government is giving 1000 or 1500 they don't have to beg to anybody right or wrong so, uh, they don't have to beg to anybody for food okay at least that sum of amount these people can use it for food consumption okay so it means government is trying to give them some dignity in the life okay the dignity by giving by assuring by assuring them that this particular sum of amount will be used for them for this particular consumption of at least food grains okay fine so that is all the uh, concept of uh, pension and insurance if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section i again repeat it not a issue okay and one more important announcement is my tripod has come so tomorrow onwards we will be starting economy especially i am going to start upsc economic optional subject which is my core subject so i am going to start that one side by side i will also take up some classes of technology also that is also one of my core subject my background only okay so that a particular arrangement will be done as of today and uh, i hope that in from friday onwards or maybe from tomorrow onwards i'll come on the board also and properly explain you many things so let us discuss the asra pension scheme so i have already told this but uh, those people who have already taken down it you can uh, by heart it not a issue so asra pension scheme the government as a part of its welfare measure always remember welfare measure means what welfare fair well everybody in the state should fare well that is the government intention that is the government intention remember this so everybody should fare well means there are many people are there in our uh, telangana who are uh, poor who are not so poor who are middle class who are upper middle class some are faring well some are not faring well so government should uh, government always had a, a concept that government always try to always try to uh, uh, try to make it uh, make sure that everybody in the society everybody in its state uh, or in the country itself should fare well okay so that is the ultimate goal of each and every so what country and that is what is also present in our direct to principles of state policy in polity government should seek to establish what welfare state means everybody in the city in our country should should be well off should fare well it means what welfare or well off or farewell means what each and every citizen in our country should should able to fulfill its basic needs okay and requirements basic needs and requirement like food clothing shelter education health drinking water okay clean roads like that road connectivity so many things each and everybody every one of our state or our country should be able to access each and everything which are very important for a human for his development for his or our development remember this point so government as a part of its welfare measure and social safety net that is what i talk about social security net also you can say not a issue strategy introduce asra pension scheme to give them to give poor a dignified life to give poor a dignified life this particular scheme was launched on 8th november 2014 so just after if you remember 2000 uh, like uh, demonetization happened in the year 2016 or so i think november is was the month okay why this scheme was launched so it was officially quoted in the documents of the government of telangana the scheme was launched in uh, by keeping in mind the uh, come to combat the ever increasing cost of living in our state and also the rise in prices which is called as inflation so these two these two important uh, 
the factors have been quoted in our official documents because of that government started this asara pension scheme theek hai chalo what is the objective of the scheme objective kya hai iska the objective what is the objective of the scheme fine sorry Asra pension scheme is meant to protect the most vulnerable sections of society. Vulnerable sections of society. Always remember this point. I have already told uh, you this in my previous video. Suppose this is our society. Okay, the, whatever we are living in, we live in a society, right? I told you the society is nothing but a congregation of people living together and exchanging things. Exchanging things, maybe love, maybe hatred, maybe goods, maybe services. It can be anything. but they are all living at one particular place that is only called as what society suppose in our society you might be seeing that there are some poor people are there so one section you can categorize them are poor there are some people who are not less middle class people are there there are some people who are upper middle class and there are some people who are rich so these are what a society has been sectioned in this case a society has been sectioned on the basis of what on the basis of their income on the basis of the income so in all of these slices you are seeing in all of these parts the poor people are having less income and they are having less than middle class middle class have is having less than upper middle class upper middle class is having less than rich people so on the basis of income we have section of our society section the society that is what is called as sections of society okay so generally if you are a government which section of the society that you wanted to give benefits so you will right away say that sir it is the poor people because they are not in in comparison to all other sections they are not able to fulfill their basic needs so as a government i will always support them so that they should also come and raise uh, raise up in their life and match to all other sections of the society is that your intention or not right so that is what it is okay so this is called as sections of society it can have any other parameter we have taken income you can take financial asset you can take uh, what assets also like uh, houses also you can take on the basis of education also on the basis of uh, what uh, their uh, physical uh, whatever the ability also okay so uh, we are very healthy right we have having two hands two legs properly working but disabled people are there especially able people are there okay persons are there they are not equal to us again okay so again on the basis of their physical abilities also society can be divided okay so if you make any of the division of a society on the basis of particular parameters then it is called as you are making section you are you are doing sections to the society okay and on the basis of that sections you will try to direct your scheme so that they should be get um, benefited out of it more okay so asra pension scheme is meant to protect the most vulnerable sections of the society and we have got these or the all the vulnerable sections so in this particular asra pension scheme old age persons are included widows are also included viewers are also beneficiaries toddy tappers are also beneficiaries aids patients are also beneficiaries disabled persons are also beneficiaries all of these okay various group of people are included under asra pension scheme remember this point okay and uh, how much of the amount how much of the amount or money that government is giving to these people for all these categories 1000 rupees will be given 1000 rupees will be given and for the disabled person 500 extra will be given that is 1500 will be given that is 1500 will be given before the ksr government came into the uh, came into the langana and they started uh, Uh, governing our state from 2014 these all people used to get 200 rupees on the basis of other criteria not this criteria on the not these groups are there on the basis of some other criteria but there was a pension scheme before asra pension scheme which was existing in our state okay according to that which was started by government of india according to the government of india scheme of pension um on the on the various uh, eligibility criteria criteria as were there different criteria as were there 200 rupees gen are generally given okay 200 rupees are generally given so ksr mr ksr government uh, what they have done they have added 800 rupees to this 200 and started giving what 1000 rupees okay and disabled persons are going to get what 1500 rupees okay then the government recently in the march 2015 onwards 
this particular scheme was also extended to bd workers remember this point bd workers group of bd this uh, the bd worker groups has not been in not uh, been included in the original astra pension scheme which was launched it uh, this group of uh, people the bd workers community they have been included in the year 2015 do remember this point it means this astra pension scheme very very important point is extended to old age widows weavers toddy tappers aids patients disabled and also what and also bd workers do remember this point okay so i am taking i am telling you one uh, again and again why because these kind of questions may will come in the examination but group 2 very very important group 1 students directly copy and paste whatever i have written on the slides to your mains answer sheet that is enough not more than that you have to study updates so this is what we are having till now with regard to asra pension scheme in december when the ksr government again reelected in our state they have fulfilled some election promises and one such promise was related to our asra pension scheme that is what updation we are having at present so the actual beneficiaries of asra pension scheme in our state in the original one was uh, the people who are 61 years of age or above 61 years of age those people are 61 either you have to attain 61 years or you should be above 61 years if you are if anybody is coming in that 61 or above 61 years they are only the beneficiaries of astra pension scheme so ksr government has decreased the age from 61 to 57 this is a new update very very important and another important point that you have to remember another new feature added to the scheme you can say another new amendment or another new addition in this scheme is 1000 rupees whatever are given as a pension to various communities it increased to 2016 it increased to 2016 and in our original asra pension scheme just now whatever we have seen disabled persons are getting 500 extra right or wrong everybody was getting 1000 disabled person was getting 1500 here everybody will get 2000 Uh, 16 rupees, whereas disabled person will get thousand extra. That is three thousand sixteen rupees. Three thousand sixteen rupees. So remember these all these new features which are added in December 2018. That is in the last month. Okay. And Chief Secretary S K Joshi also has directed the official to start enrolling to start enrolling the new eligible beneficiaries under the Asra Pension Scheme because age is decreased means number will increase now. Okay, that is what they wanted to do. burden on the government okay before this hike in the pension government that the financial burden on the government was 835.63 crore rupees okay with the increase in the pension amount the total financial burden on the telangana government will be around 4000 crore rupees so it is a hike of around 478 percentage okay so pension scheme has increased to how many percentage the amount of the pension scheme as a pension scheme has increased to 478 percentage remember this very very important point similar scheme is also there as i have told you uh, in government of india so we should know that our state what our state government is doing and what other kind of uh, schemes are also we are having in uh, uh, initiated by the government of india anyhow all the government of india schemes will be taken or or have been taken up by mrs asma nishad you might be following the uh, her lectures also so she will be completing all the schemes of all the ministries so you don't have to worry about union government scheme anyhow so it uh, each and every topic in detail she is covering okay so similar scheme is also there in the government of india so which is called as what national social assistance program okay this is we are running parallelly with respect to what government of india the government of india also before they used to give 200 and uh, 500 and the criteria to give this uh, uh, national social assistant program okay uh, from the government of india if anybody is uh, cross 60 years or anybody has attained 60 years they are, they used to get 200 rupees okay and if anybody has cross 80 years or attained 80 years they used to get 500 rupees they used to get 500 rupees so that is what the parallel program which is running in our uh, what at the union level for widows and disabled 300 per month okay and uh, under this national social assistance program uh, the government of india has identified 8.15 lakh pensioners 8.15 lakh pensioners so 
to avail the scheme who are the beneficiaries because widows are there because disabled persons are there everyone uh, all the communities are there no it is a possibility is there all these communities means all cannot be poor right there are some people within the community who will be well off who are able to have who are having their own houses etc right disabled persons may have widows independent widows may have who are working in the bank as a bank manager etc todi tappers may have some assets they may have some agricultural lands like that so there is some eligibility criteria that all the communities has to satisfy then only this pension scheme will be applicable to them so family income in the rural area should not be more than 1.5 lakhs this is one criteria for rural people okay and family income of the urban areas should not be more than 2 lakhs rural areas if a family income is 1.5 lakhs if any of the family member is falling in that particular eligibility criteria like 51 to uh, like 57 to 61 whoever are there in this uh, in that particular age group okay so they can avail this uh, asra pension schemes provided their family income should not be more than 1.5 lakhs it is same in case of urban also urban family if she if any if any urban family is there who, whose family income is not more than 2 lakhs and if anyone is falling between that age group 57 to 61 then they can avail the benefit of it if this criteria only satisfies you can avail the benefit not everybody can avail okay and uh, in national social assistance program government of india has identified how much government of india has identified 8.15 lakh pensioners we are having more pensioners in this scheme okay so our reach of our asra pension scheme started by mr ksr has been more in our state so we have identified 20 lakh beneficiaries okay and this particular increase happened because the age group decreased from 60 okay 64 to 57 64 to 57 more are covered before 61 was there now it is decreased to 57 and increased to 64 so 57 to 64 is a age group at present okay uh, what should be the beneficiary should be having one aadhar card number with them one bank account is compulsory because direct benefit benefit is asra pension benefit is what here dbt dbt means beam direct b means benefit t means transfer so benefit here is what pension is a benefit pension will be directly transferred to the account of that beneficiary like that this is called as dbt scheme direct benefit transfer scheme like that we will say so a bank account number is important okay and uh, uh this uh, the whatever the various officers are there they have to forward uh, the uh, uh, beneficiary's name to the district collectors and district collectors uh, will enroll them and the pension will be disbursed pension will be disbursed so thank you so much for hearing me i hope that you enjoyed my lecture again uh, please like share as much as people so that they will also get benefit out of it thanks a lot have a nice day ahead